Hi Pisces, welcome to your mid-May general love reading. This is your girl Mermaid Scales Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is a general love reading for the sun, moon, rising, Venus, and or any other strong placement for the sign of Pisces. This is a general reading, so please keep that in mind. Don't only take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't for someone else who needs to hear this message. Hi, cross watchers. You're very welcome here if you're interested in a Pisces. Who wouldn't be? I'd like to remind Pisces and cross watchers that energy is fluid, and this simply means you may feel like I'm describing a certain situation in the reading where you feel the roles are flipped or reversed, and that's completely okay. You're more than welcome to use your own discretion to flip those roles if that resonates with your specific situation the best. All right, Pisces, let's go ahead and get your reading started. I'm first going to use my sound bowl to clear and set the energy for you guys. So let's go ahead and take a deep breath in. And tune into the energy of Pisces. All right, Pisces, let's go ahead and see what's going on in your love life that you need to be aware of, that spirit wants to talk to you about. Pisces, sun, moon, rising, Venus, anyone dealing with the Pisces, what is going on in the situation of your love life that you need to be aware of? Okay, so Pisces, we got honeymoon. And it says, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Very interesting. I wonder if for some of you guys this is specific, but it's like maybe you met around a certain holiday in whatever country you live in. Um, you know, like St. Patrick's Day is what I'm hearing for someone specifically. Um, maybe it was around your birthday even that you met someone around that time. Um, and things are kind of moving ahead. I feel as if you guys are talking, dating, and you're getting to know one another. But someone, I don't know, there's something very attractive about you Pisces that they keep pursuing that they definitely want to keep going for the two of you um for some reason I'm kind of getting they may come from a different part of the world a different culture background ethnicity for some of you guys in regards of who I'm talking to I mean I'm hearing that someone could have an accent specifically um but before I get any deeper into that let's keep going tell me more The letter H is sticking out to me as in Hillary, as in Hayden, first, middle, last initial may mean something to someone as well. Tell me more about this energy surrounding Pisces. Ooh, Pisces, we got number 36 with second chakra, Archangel Ariel. So with the second chakra, that's all about emotions, sensuality. You're activating their sacral chakra when they're around you, Pisces, and maybe you feel that same activation. Um, someone could have red hair. I'm also picking up on as well. Not for everyone, but for someone out there. But anyway, there's something that's activating this yearning for you, this wanting for you. And I feel you both feel it around each other. And even with all this sensual energy that kind of gets activated, it's like someone's just hungry for more. Someone wants more. Even when you guys like leave each other off at the end of the night, uh, you know, drop them off at your at their house or vice versa, whatever, it's like they want to know when they'll see you again. They want to automatically text you asking if you got home safe or whatever it is. Um, this is intense. I feel this intensity and it feels not like intense in the bad way, but intense in a strong, passionate chemistry way. Okay, tell me more. Tell me more. Okay, so it says... I was a fool, okay? So someone, do they miss you, Pisces? I don't know, maybe some of you guys have kind of felt like there was something that they weren't doing enough of and maybe you even felt like it was just only temporary. They were kind of trying to give off that vibes, whether that's what they really meant to do or not. 
maybe someone was afraid it was just too sexual between the two of you, so you broke it up. And if you have stopped texting, calling, messaging, they feel like a fool because they want more from this. They're hungry for this. But, you know, for most of you, most of you, honestly, I feel as if they're kind of in fool energy here. And I know some people like to read the cards verbatim, but I gotta have to... With all the energy here I'm seeing, I have to pick up on what I'm picking up on. You could be dealing with an Aquarius or an Aries or someone that has those signs very strongly in their chart. But it's almost as if they have this very strong crush on you where they feel a little bit foolish at times. I don't know, the type that like maybe in front of you before they've been taking a drink and they got a little nervous and some of it spit out. That type of energy or they kind of tripped in front of you before. But they're kind of crazy about you, Pisces. And even if there has been silence between the two of you, they're really regretting anything that they've done to make you a walk away. Because this is something they weren't expecting, but they they still are actively looking to still get you back or to pursue this farther with you. Okay, let's get the tarot out here. Tell me more about this energy going on. I want the tea, spirit. Let's give Pisces the tea. The high priestess here. Ooh, you could be possibly be dealing with another Pisces or Cancer as I feel Cancer energy with this card as well. There's still a strong pull to you. There's something about you they find so intriguing, so mysterious. They can't put their finger on it, but they want to find out. It's that type of energy here. They do may find out that you're very spiritual. You're very intuitive. You may even be psychic yourself. I'm even seeing someone with spiritual tattoos. Um, let's just go ahead and pull some more cards before I get diving into it. Let's get all the cards out. Yeah, Page of Wands. They're interested, Pisces. You keep them and leave them wanting more. Ooh, yeah, Seven of Pentacles. Maybe they're a bit too slow, though, you know, in expressing this and pursuing this, or you felt like for some of you guys, they weren't doing enough, so you had to give them a little bit of a wake-up call. Yeah, Eight of Wands rooting this. Some of you could have met online um, through a dating app, through Instagram, Facebook, that type of vibe, or that's your primary communication. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. You guys officially have 222 two, two in the spread here. That could be a number synchronicity you're seeing quite a bit. Your birthday could be March 2nd, March 12th, February 22nd for some of you guys here. But uh, yeah, bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Swords. So this is Gemini energy. So, you know, at the start of this, they didn't, they were a bit shook meeting you, feeling this intensity with you, this chemistry with you. And I do feel as if they held back a lot. They held back a lot of telling you what they needed to tell you and being very clear. Because I don't think they were very clear themselves. If you guys met through like a dating app, they may have just looked at this at first as something to be a good time. But the feelings they've developed for you has become something so much more than that. And I see that with this second chakra here. You've activated something within them, Pisces, that they were not prepared for at all. But nonetheless, they still feel... And I think if this is someone that kind of is worried if they mess things up with you, they're really kicking themselves for holding a lot back, for not doing enough, not saying everything they could have said when they had the opportunity with you. So if there is no communication between the two of you and hasn't been for a long time, it's really bothering them. It, they imagine how they want to reach out to you, how they want to talk to you and re-spark things with you. But they're also afraid that you would just reject them, that you would kind of just, you know, not reply, leave them on red type of situation. But it's harder every day for them to keep holding back. It's harder for them every day to kind of, you know, not at least try to start something here because the passion and intensity is still very strong. But um, if this is something you're still very activated in, you're still dating, you're still seeing. <sighs> yeah, I mean, with this Eight of Swords, you definitely caught them off guard. And I think they may have had this idea of how things were going to go, but you've completely changed that. You flipped the script with that. Again, the type where it was going to be only like, you know, friends with benefits, only a temporary thing. Whatever you've done, Pisces, they it's made them kind of want to stay. 
it's kind of made them want to, you know, pursue this further than what they were originally going into this thinking they wanted to do. You've tripped them up psychologically, mentally in this. And they've still been kind of thinking of you every day, wondering what you've been up to, what you're doing, wanting to text you, wanting to reach out to you. And maybe they've been holding back because they kind of sense they've been doing too much and they don't want to come off as clingy. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into this. Dead center, we have the high priestess. So this is Pisces energy, Cancer energy. For one thing, Pisces, they know you're the type that picks up on everything. You are Pisces. You're given with a six, you're gifted with a sixth sense. So they know you pick up on anything that is, you know, BS. Okay. And they know there's not much that can get past you. You feel and sense everything. And there's something about this connection still, even if you guys aren't talking, there's still a strong psychic telepathic connection where they can't stop thinking about you. There's still some sort of mysterious around you, Pisces, that is still kind of stumping them. There's still a lot that is being hidden, I feel, that if, if they're trying to put on high priestess energy, they're trying to play their cards close to their chest, but that's really not working in their favor here. And I think if anything, you don't like the f mind games, you don't like to play, you know, guessing games at all, you're so over that. And you're in this point in your life where it's like, be open and honest, because I'm going to sense it anyway, you know? So I feel with this high priestess energy, you pick up that there's more to this than they may have put up at first, or may even still be trying to resist in showing you. But whatever you're feeling and sensing, especially if it has anything to do with your sacral or sacrum chakra, when you're around them, you feel this kindling passion, this intensity. They feel it just as much as you do. And I think there's even more to this that they want to explore with you, that they're curious about. They've even had dreams of you recently, Pisces, or maybe this is someone you've dreamt of very recently. That's the person I'm talking about here. But there's just more that they want to discover. There's more that they want to get to know. There's more that they want to uncover in being with you, Pisces, because you're the one that's stuck. You're the one that's stuck on their mind and their heart. What's crossing this is the Page of Wands. This is Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius Energy. And with this card here, I'm getting someone that's younger. In, you know, by a few years, whether that's you or the other person, but there could also be some immaturity with that if it's not so much youth. Um, you know, someone is a little bit more impulsive, someone is a bit more, a little cocky maybe, um, but they're just definitely, they go off of their feelings, they go off of their wants and their, their desires a bit too much, and sometimes that plays in their favor, and sometimes it ends up burning them at the end of the day. And I think with this page of wands, you know, there's still interest. There's still a spark that they want to keep going. But maybe they kind of sense that, um, you know, if you guys stop talking, maybe they, with this page of wands, were afraid of their ego getting hurt. Or if they were afraid that you were only looking at this in a certain way, like if they weren't the ones that was seeing this as like a friends of benefits type of thing, they were afraid you were. And instead of getting hurt, they wanted to play it off like it wasn't a big thing, it wasn't a big deal. And that's what they kind of feel foolish over, if that is how things ended between the two of you. There is someone that likes to wear hoop earrings, definitely here. Um, also someone that could have bangs. But the Page of Wands, that could be the challenge here specifically. Um, really, I feel this is their energy as they're coming up as the two of wands, which we'll get to in a second, is how to reapproach you, how to spark this with you, how to get your attention. They're kind of struggling with finding the right way because you're hard to read, Pisces. You may read everyone else clearly, but you, you're hard to read. And they're trying to figure that out here. What's the best way to go about this? What's crowning this is the Seven of Pentacles. So Taurus energy. What I feel with the Seven of Pentacles is that maybe something plateaued a bit. Something kind of you were giving, you know, your time, your energy, but there was nothing that was really progressing. It was kind of staying the same. 
And maybe in a sense that is kind of what bored you. Especially if this person wasn't willing to do more. Maybe they were comfortable with where things were at and you really weren't. So there's something about, you know, the situation if they're kind of sensing that you're bored or that you're kind of walking away from this or kind of detaching from this that they're going to have to prove it. They're going to have to prove that, you know, this is worth a second chance. They're going to have to prove that this is worth keeping going. But there's not enough here yet. And maybe that's what they're kind of afraid of in some sense that you're sensing from the situation here. I'm hearing really weirdly. I'm hearing Gimme More by Britney Spears. Gimme, gimme more, gimme more. I don't know why, but that's coming through here specifically. What's reading this is the Eight of Wands. Sagittarius energy. So what this rooted in may have been through social media, dating apps. Um, but yeah, I feel as if with this Eight of Wands, they want this to go to the distance. Now, there could be with this honeymoon situation, like I said, um, they could come from different parts of the world, um, different cultures, that's fine, but it could also be a long distance issue between the two of you. So some of you could live in different cities, different states, different countries even, and traveling makes it hard, seeing each other all the time makes it a bit difficult. Maybe they were always the ones that like didn't want to travel to come see you, Maybe in some aspect, they were always hoping that you would be the one to buy the ticket or to make the journey to take, you know, the car trip or the bus ride to come see them. And it was always left on you to do it. And why? <laughs> you know, we could split this 50-50, especially if it's hard to see each other all the time. Um, now they feel, okay, yeah, I should have done more to see Pisces. I should have done more to go visit them if it was a long distance type of thing. That is something that they're also seeing was a big issue on their end that they could have done better with, for sure. But with the Eight of Wands, Pisces, they really do see this going the distance now and maybe it took a taste of you not being as present in their lives for them to really get that and to understand that. But they also kind of see Pisces, if that's not so much the case, that you are a go-getter. You know, you're someone that doesn't wait very long anymore. Maybe that used to be your story when you were younger. But when you sense that you gave people too much time, too much energy, you have to really show them that this is something that you either go for and have the opportunity of kind of sealing the deal here, or you can watch as I leave. What is this Eight of Wands? What is this excitement here, though? Again, I'm seeing daytime fantasies they have of you daydreams that they have of you. Tell me more with this eight of wands. <sighs> okay, yeah, we have the devil, and I'm going to have to cover this with my finger because there's nudity. YouTube's not down with that. But Capricorn energy could simply mean you're dealing with the Capricorn, but I feel more so, um, again, the intensity that really drives them here. For some of you with the sacral chakra that's coming up in your reading, yeah, I mean... <sighs> You get them going, Pisces. I mean, in a very sexual, sensual, physical way. They definitely feel if you have had physical relations with this person, you are amazing in bed. Maybe even for some, they think the best in bed. Um, but with this devil energy, you kind of don't want to be tied to that. Yeah, maybe for some of you, you're kind of starting to see certain patterns or traits that may have reflected something from the past that you're not looking to repeat. And I think too that this person, again, like I said, with the immaturity, um, you know, this person definitely goes off their vices. And when they're thinking of you, when they start to get into those fantasies that they have of you, that's when they're really, you know, trying to fight the urge to fully go to that next level or to pursue it because maybe they... Maybe they are unsure if they can come out of this devil energy with the toxic behaviors or at least not the vibration that you are looking for with someone. You feel almost as if they hit you up specifically when they want to see you, when they want you to come over for more physical nature, right? And you're letting them know that's not the only way this is going to work, okay? 
yes, you like to have a sensual, passionate connection, but you want something more real. You want something more down to earth, something more grounded than just that. But yeah, I think the sexual energy between the two of you is definitely what keeps this going, what keeps this alive. I think you find them to be pretty good in bed too. Bottom of the deck, the three of pentacles. Capricorn energy, very strong here. But they're going to have to do more. They're going to have to do more to prove it, show it. You want a partner. You want someone that will work with you, who will put in the same effort to create something more out of this. Maybe for some of you guys, um, this is someone that you guys met through work or maybe even in a sense like a co-worker introduced the two of you. I'm picking up very specifically for someone here. But, you know, Pisces, I gotta say, like, they're not used to putting this effort forward, and they usually don't put this effort forward for anyone, but with you, they feel more inclined to do so. Some of them are afraid of commitment, Pisces. I see that here very clearly as well. They think Pisces will, or er, Pisces, they think commitment will restrain them, will confine them. But you're not like that. You're a free spirit. You're independent yourself with this Eight of Wands. And you like to go about your business in your own way just as much as they do. But maybe they grew up with that idea that relationship meant clinginess. But that's not how you're coming off of. And that's not what you're showing. All right, Pisces. How you are in this, um, maybe how they're seeing you in this, is the Two of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. Some of you could have a Capricorn rising or a Capricorn moon, perhaps. Um, but yeah, they are kind of afraid that you're thinking about letting this go, that you're in the process of making a decision of what to do about this. You're still a bit uncertain because maybe you see one aspect of this as being passionate, as being a lot of fun, of having something with this person. But at the same time, if the Seven Pentacles is crowning this, like, are they doing enough? Is this enough for me to continue pursuing? Do I want to give more to this? And they sense that in your energy. Maybe even with the High Priestess in the middle of this, they're sensing that in your silence. And it's kind of anticipating them. It's kind of making them anxious knowing that you may have the decision in your hands to start this or end this because they don't want that. They don't want this to end with you. I see that very clearly here. But they know that you have the power in this situation to put an end to it if you want to. They're kind of sensing that you are just someone that's trying to decide if you want this or not. And I think that's something that is kind of sparking them to do something more about this, to maybe even come out of their shell with this if they have been in their shell. How they are in the situation, their energy in all this is the two of wands, Aries energy. Yeah, they are determined, let's just say, to make this work with you. They're determined to persist this with you. Even if you've been working to kind of pull back in your communication or just kind of give yourself a break to kind of sense and feel things out, I do feel Pisces, they are the ones to still reach out to you, ask what you're doing, what you're up to, maybe send you something through DMs in that sense. But they have their eye on you, Pisces, and they're determined to go forward with this in you, to make this happen with you. You've sparked something within them that is not easy to die out with this Two of Wands energy. And may, they may even be thinking of surprising you in some sense, of coming to see you, of planning a trip to see you, or trying to offer that opportunity in that sense. But yeah, I think there's a part of this person that's very daring that attracted you to this person initially, but when things kind of started to, you know, get a little boring, mundane, routine, or just not enough, it's kind of wondered if you should pull back. But I feel Pisces in this sense with the Two of Wands. They're trying to do something to convince you to stay, to convince you to keep this going. Because there's a lot of intensity here. There's a lot of interest here. There's a lot of passion here. And they know they don't want that to leave from their life. That's for sure. So what's likely to happen? What's likely to unfold here within this connection between the two of you from now to the end of the month? We're going to go ahead and take this to Vimeo for the extended reading. I'm going to overturn this card here to show you what's likely to play out in the upcoming days and weeks as this connection continues or maybe not. 
If you'd like to join me for the extended reading, open up the description box and you'll find the link to Vimeo which will take you to the extended reading. But if this is where we depart, Pisces, I really hope that this reading resonated with you. I hope it provides you with the clarity, insight, healing, and guidance that you were looking for by watching this message. And if it has, please let me know. Drop a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you, Pisces, very much, and I'll see you next time. Take care, Pisces.